<laughs> oh, welcome back to another episode of It's a Dire Thing. There's your friend, man. There's <laughs> your family. Go to the family. Rob here with Sage and the Super S Max from Yamaha. Why the hell are we riding this? Because we can. Sage, can you hear me? Yeah. You're on my headset? All right, I'm on the R3 and we are now just off of Lake Simcoe on a nice long weekend, Canada Day long weekend, out for a oh, right. ride. Those scooter guys, they had the life, man. You got the life. Woohoo! All right, so this is just kind of like a little, ooh, look how high the water is this year, eh? Uh-huh. Snap, so it's getting high. Uh, I have, we have friends at uh, work at Yamaha who live just down the road over here too, eh? Yeah. So if they can do this and travel this on a, every day, so can we. Oh. Anyways, we are here with, with the S-Max 155cc single cylinder liquid cooled racing scooter <laughs> with Sage as the pilot or in the pilot seat I guess you want to call it I don't know whatever and I am on the little itty bitty R3 like I said I this is Lake Simcoe here uh, it's uh, actually quite a it's it's a good enough uh, fair sized body of water Lots of people that like to come out here. Ooh, look at the sexy, sexy. Ooh, wow. Yum. <laughs> Sage, keep your eyes on the road and not on the boobies. I know, no, they look sunburned. Huh? They look sunburned. They look sun. <laughs> Do you want to ask if you want to go put some cream on it? No. Huh? No. Uh, no. Old people. Old people. Oh, God. And what am I? <laughs> I, should, I should take my shirt off and go lay on the side and they call me a beach whale. No. <laughs> so. Yeah, you got to watch here actually for uh, there's quite a few minks that run across the road over here. So this is definitely yeah, a they're too, though, they're vicious. Oh, oh yeah. So we're in mink and cougar territory. So <laughs> yeah, if you know what I mean. Look at that boat, eh? I don't know. Uh, Would you like to do boating? Would you like to go boat? No, you don't. But you don't like water, do you? I have my earplugs. Uh, I mean, I'd get on a boat. Yeah. Or on a watercraft. Like, like, look at this. Everybody leaves their dock to get on the boat just to come out here and just kind of hang here. I know. Cool. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, but it's kind of pointless of having a boat. Like, why are you going to be so close to shore? Because they don't want to go out. You might as well just not have a boat, right? So, whatever. I don't know. Huh? Huh? Walk, make sure nobody's gonna run across. Alright. Hit them with a scooter. Yeah. <laughs> like Bob, cut him Unless you want to turn around, we go we join back the scooter gang there. Oh no. No, no we don't. we're not gonna catch them. They're electric scooters. Electric scooters, the turbo electric scooters. I don't know why they're honking the horn, but I just wanna join in. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I seen that. Eh? <laughs> oh, it's my family, my ancestors, my cousins, they're calling for me. Let me go and ride with you. I know, there's a, I'm surprised, uh, oh well, whatever. There are, there are a lot there too, eh? Yeah, like the least ten. <laughs> what's this? Ooh, what's coming up here? Oh, it's an ATV. Oh, that's... Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, with the, oh, it's got that's the, so stick. that has yeah. a snorkel kit too, eh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's that guy so, can go. So sick to have a street legal. I, totally, Something eh? like that. I wish they would make it legal like that. Oh, there's another R3. I wish, uh, yeah, I wish they could make the, like we were saying the other day, we were all talking there, that YXZ1000. Street legal. Street legal. I asked Blake if that was a thing up there in Florida, but it's not. He's in Florida? Oh, yeah. So they don't do, they don't ride uh, off-road vehicles? People do, but it's not allowed. It all depends on where, I guess, eh? Yeah. Yeah. So. This one's set up by the police. Oh, yeah, eh? Well, they're doing like, yeah, we saw the, that ride uh, campaign that was coming, that was going on coming up here. So you definitely need to be cautious uh, this weekend for the rest of the week, actually. First week, yeah. first kind of official week is bad. summer, right? 
so. Yeah. Well, it'll be a good test to see how things go. Yeah. I mean, look, how many cops did you have? Just coming up, yeah, plus yeah. a whole big truck and stuff. So. Yeah, right. okay. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to stop here. Ooh, long boards. This is kind of like a little mini, uh, I don't know. think they can ride them properly. Aye. Right. Not like they can hold them and walk around. <laughs> I got a skateboard, but it's got zero kilometers on it. Yeah. Yeah, no, I got friends that live uh, just up here, not too far from here. We're, we came up through here as a big group, a uh, riding group the other day, and uh, I had seen them. They were outside doing some uh, some gardening and shit, so I pulled over onto the side. I said, here, I'll go and meet up with you guys later and chit-chatting with, the, with these guys. Yeah. So. so how are you liking that scooter? It's all right. Yeah? So it's a Fine. fancy, fancy scooter. So. <laughs> It's got some giddy up and go, right? I mean, that's pretty good for the most part. Here, I'll let you go up front. Yeah, there you go. Swap. Tell me if I got to turn in the Yeah, no, we're going to stay on here for, for quite a while, actually. So, yeah, so this is 155 cc liquid cooled. I don't know. I mean, it's not like a motocross liquid cooled engine where you got the where you feel the power band, but I mean, yeah. it definitely has a it has some giddy up and go, eh? Yeah. Yeah, and then a full wind protection too, like. You, that's so funny. But I tell you guys, we were, so Sage and I were riding and uh, from a stop, uh, at, a, at a stoplight, when we had to take off, I mean, okay, again, you know, you're thinking like the R3 has 47 foot, uh, 45 or over 40, uh, oh, that's where they were there. They lived right there. Uh, anyways, it has like over 40 horsepower, whereas this scooter, 155 cc, oh, oh that hurt. Um, ow. Uh, probably has maybe no more than 20. But anyways, off of a takeoff from a, a stoplight, it was actually quite impressive in regards to how quickly it takes off. Now, I go up through my gears and stuff. So what we did, we actually did a test saying, okay, I'm gonna stay in sixth gear at uh, 50 kilometers we were doing. So we did a roll on from 50 kilometers up to, to 80, just to see how things were going. And actually, Sage in that scooter, he had a faster acceleration than I did. Wow, look at that boat, man. That's fun. Totally, eh? Oh, yeah. That's a lot. Oh, so there's a, a nice little Mustang up front, too, eh? An old Mustang. Yeah. Oh. I wasn't sure what it was. Yeah, it's an old Mustang. Yeah. 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 Like a 60 day something like that. I, I'm coming on the side of you here. I'll be right at the edge of the road, so don't you worry. Oh, that turbo. Feel that turbo. <laughs> so how many kilometers you got on it now so far? 56.5 56, so almost 60 Ks. I tell you, Bailey needs to try this thing. Your knees are actually higher. <laughs> You know, you think normally on a motorcycle, your knees kind of go down. Like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your knees are actually going up. Is that oh, a... Oh, Is there a Grom? That's a Grom coming up, I think. Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. I thought it was. It looked like a Grom. So. Oh, there's cops up ahead. He's just warning us copy cops. Is that what it is? Yeah, when he tapped his head. Yeah? Yeah. So. Oh, fuck. What? Cop. Yeah, just there. take it nice and easy. Look how busy it is there. Oh my God. It's like it's gonna be busy like this for the next like three days of just sheer craziness. Yeah. Wow. That's so, so busy. So. I don't know, I mean the water, how much uh, it, uh, why if anybody wants to cross here, no? Uh, yeah, no, no. not crossing. Yeah, yeah I'm not sure how how cold that water is. So, quite hot. No. here, yeah, it's not it's not too deep of a water, but it is quite it is quite large. Yeah, it's it's quite a big uh, body of water. It is Lake Simcoe. I mean, you think on the other side of Lake Simcoe is uh, or Aurora, where we go to uh, Weber's and all that, right? 
yeah. so it does quite a way and all the way up close to up to nana's uh trailer. nana's trailer and all that right so i thought that one guy in that black car was going to pull out because i think he's got inches oh forward, i know eh? looking at his right but <laughs> he put off the brake yeah, he'd know it. Yeah, it'd be nice to get away from uh, Scarborough. Oh, yeah, or, yeah, Toronto. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cousin, my cousin. I'm going to turn right on the road called Dalton, which I know there's a stop sign, if I recall properly. We'll take a look, and I'll let you know ahead uh, of time. So, Because we're going to come into Jackson Point. There will be a... We'll go down through. we got to get... Uh, I want to top up with some gas. Because it's now 4.20 and your mother said we need to go for supper at 5, so I sent Bailey a mess. <laughs> I sent Bailey a message, so I'm sure uh, she'll be pissed off at me now. Uh, yeah, I don't know if that's Dalton Road or it looks like Dalton. Yeah, we're going to turn right up here. Yeah. Yeah. Ice cream right in the wind. Oh, this is where all those electric scooters came from. So, okay, I'll go ahead in front of you. Yeah, we're good to go. Yeah, we are good to go. But yeah, for the most part, I think uh, putting around with that little scooter, it's quite... It's uh, not bad. It's not yeah, bad, it's eh? It's a good city scooter, you know? That's city scooter, yeah. Take it around and just either jump curb <laughs> or have a nice relaxing Aye. Okay, we're going to go on the right side road here. I'm on the right side. All right, perfect. Yeah, we're going to go straight down here. There's going to be a gas station, and from there we'll head on back home there. So, all right. We'll go straight down, uh, straight down Woodbine actually, because then this way it takes us straight on to. Um, I don't know which Swiss chalet they want to go to. I'm hoping it's going to be the one up north. I don't know. On Woodbine. On Markham? Yeah, Markham one. No, because I meant to change. So has the so has the other one though. Not yet. Well, yeah, because they by now it will. Oh. Yeah. Why do they want to go to Switzerland then? I ain't gonna get shit. I know. Whatever. Anyways, all right. So then we're gonna just continue riding around. Oh, you want to go Timmy's? No, Timmy's. No. Oh, look at this! Look at this guy. <laughs> There you go. Oh, stop. It's not going to have a good time if you're running with the cops down there. I know. <laughs> yeah. Do you think they're going to be able to catch him? Okay, Dude, thank you very much. Have a nice day. I'm out of here. He's probably just gone up to go get some gas or whatever and then taken off. So we got to go to the Petro Canada, which is going to be down the hill here over onto the left side of us. All, All right. right. So anyways, say bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right. Robin Sage here tuning out onto the other another episode of It's a Dire Thing. Thank you very much for tuning in and your subscriptions, your support. If you have any comments, any questions, any suggestions, do let us know. Other than that, be safe, have fun, be good. See you guys soon. Cheers.